Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. Over the Storms of Life by Pastor Joseph Alonaton is being called a must-read book for those who may be seeking solutions to their challenges and those who are seeking in-depth insights into the prophetic movement of God's salvation for humanity. One review says of Over the Storms of Life, as a Christian, we are bound to face challenges, trials, and difficulties in this world. These are the storms of life. This book gives guidance and insight to the various storms of life and ways we can overcome them. Pastor Joseph was an office automation engineer and chief executive officer of Yowlot Technologies Limited prior to his call to become a minister of God. Earning his BA degree in theology, PGD and pastoral studies and master's degree in ministry, he has served in various offices in the CNS Church of God as secretary to the Council of Pastors, deputy pastor and chapel secretary, English chapel, and pastor in charge of number one branch of CNS Church of God in London. He recently established his ministry, Christian Kingdom Outreach Ministries in the UK, and has authored and published two life-inspiring books entitled Christian Marriage and Family Life and Over the Storms of Life, the book we'll be talking about today. Pastor Joseph joins us via Skype from the UK on This Week in America. Pastor, welcome to the program. It is a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me. This is such a very powerful book and helping so many people get through those difficult periods in life. Talk about the inspiration, the motivation when you decided to write Over the Storms of Life. Thank you very much, um, Rick. I was inspired to start writing these books while I was in the midst of storm myself. When I have lost everything, including my companies, my finance, including my beautiful wife, and uh, I faced some challenges thereafter, and God told me, son, pick up your pen and begin to write. So I began to write. And that's why that this was, book... It I th- was God who motivated me my, himself. Well, gave you, yeah, the inspiration encouraged you And this is so relatable because you've gone through this. This is not somebody who's never suffered major setbacks who's talking about it. It's someone who's actually been there like all of us have been there. When I say storms of life, define the storms of life and how its overall effect on humanity. Our storm of life is basically every occurrence in life that runs contrary to the expressions of God's love for humanity when he created humanities and his ultimate expression of love for humanities is boldly written in the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 to 28 and Genesis chapter 2 from verse 18 to 24. These are the expression of his love. Anything anything whatsoever that wrote contrary to that, they are storm of life. Yeah, and I, I, the other word for storm of life is evil. With us on the program is Pastor Joseph Alatatan and Pastor Joy, as many people call him. His book is a very powerful book, Over the Storms of Life, God's Word and Covenant Promises Prevailed. You'll find the book at Author Reputation Press. Of course, you'll find it at uh, Amazon, also at Pastor Joseph's website. And I will give you that information as we go through the program because it is a book that's going to help and has been helping so many people Pastor, explain how God's word and covenant promises prevail over the storms of life. A, a fascinating uh, that, a- aspect. Talk about that. That That is a fascinating aspect of life. And uh, the good things about life is knowing the word of God. Uh, when God created the world, he created the heavens and the earth with his word, particularly this earth. He uses his word to create everything. And he declares in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 to 20, he said, let us create man in our own image and likeness. Now, when humanity fell from that grace, now what he does was that he packaged his expressions in Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, as a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and also confirmed the same to King David. And God himself uh, used his covenant to 
deals with every oddities that has ever occurred in history, brought about by the, the devil who fell to these words. And uh, his word has never failed. With his word, he fights every battle. And with his covenant, he defeats the Satan. So the word and the covenant of God personified in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he's the one who came and said, I have come to do the will of my father. And my mission is to destroy the work of the devil. And that was as declared in the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. He's the one who came to fulfill. And he is the personifier of the word and the covenant. Everybody goes through these these issues. Everybody has a storm, some more often than others, but everybody goes through these storms. How would you advise yeah. someone challenged with the storms of life? And again, you know firsthand because you had to deal with these some major storms. What are some of the uh, the points that that you would give to someone who's challenged by these storms? Uh, the first thing I did was to enter into covenant relationship with God. As soon as uh, I noticed uh, th that the storm was coming on my way, and I faithfully believe in God's covenant that he has never failed. And I believe that he is able to fight every battle. What is required of me is to activate my faith, which I call the spiritual horsepower. And that was what I did. And God fought the battles and gave me victory. And I believe that everyone who is challenged one way or the other, in whichever forms, uh, shape, you also can do the same thing. You need to align your thoughts, align everything about your own life with the word of God and his covenant. And surely you will prevail over every circumstances and challenges in your life. Just like uh, Pastor was talking about during the course of the interview, the book gives a balanced and practical view of the uh, the earthly storms that we all go through. Pastor Joseph Alatatan is our guest on the program. The book is Over the Storms of Life, God's Word and Covenant Promises Prevails. You'll find the book available, of course, at the usual places. I'll send you to authorreputationpress.com. Pastor Joseph's website, josephalatatanbook.com. And I'm going to spell that. It's A-L-A-D-E-T-A-N. I've given you a lot, but if you go to our website, This Week in America, you can link on. When you go to Pastor Joseph's website, a lot of great information on him there as well. The other book that he has, has written. You talk in the book about miracles. Explain miracles, and some people will say, but are they really real? Yes, miracle is real indeed. Miracle is when the Word of God uh, and the covenant of God uh, in, in, in combines with the anointing of the Holy Spirit invade the territories or the works of the devil and miracle will happen automatically because with the word of God and the, and, and the Holy Spirit he created all perfect things in, on earth and so God fight with his word and his covenant and his, and his Holy Spirit and when all this combines invades every circumstances the wrong contrary with the perfect creations then miracle began so miracle is real from what you talk about in your background i'm assuming you've seen miracles in your life and in dealing with people those who have read the book those that you deal with in your ministry you probably see miracles quite often absolutely i have personally experienced miracle and uh, even the world that we're living in is full of miracle. And going through the Bible, you'll see how Jesus Christ himself uh, demonstrated the supernatural powers against sickness, diseases, and pains, and was able to raise dead. And he declares in the book of John chapter 14, verse 12, that greater work than this we shall do to those who believe. Miracle is real, and, but it requires it plays a demand on myself and yourself to believe in the word of God and to have your absolute trust in God who created all things and you begin to experience miracle. We are going through what some would describe as a world crisis. It seems to get worse from day to day. We see the, the climate change and the impact of that and all of this going on and turmoil in the world. 
What's your opinion will be the end to the to the world crisis that that we're living in now? The the the, the word of God is invaluable, infallible, uh, and the the Bible is the constitution of life. Everything that is happening now has been prophesied in the Bible. We are now in the perilous times. Let me remind the world and my listeners, every dispensation from the disposition of innocence through to disposition of uh, conscience and disposition of human government and disposition of promise and disposition of the law and the present disposition, every disposition always end with human error followed by God judgment. Every disposition is in the past. And this disposition is not exceptional. We have almost got into the peak of wickedness to the point that the whole world is saying there is no God. And they are saying yes to the devil and no to God. And it is then inevitable, it's very, very inevitable that with all this error on the part of man, judgment will soon come. And that's why you are seeing all this. This is the perilous time. And this is the end time. And I want to really emphasize one thing. All the prophecies and signs of the end times as contained in the Bible has been fulfilled. What is expected now is the judgment of God, rapture and the second coming of of Jesus Christ. Now, you mentioned atheists. They will say you're talking about God, but there really is no God. What's your take on that? And, and how would you address that? <laughs> the Bible has clearly addressed this. Uh, the greatest problems uh, on the part of man is our disconnection uh, with God. And when you are disconnected with God, your mind becomes obscured with the truth. And the Bible says in the book of Psalm 14, verse 1, said the fool said in their heart that there's no God. And because they, 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 their heart has been seared. They no longer have knowledge of God who created, and they, have, they were so disconnected with the, the Redeemer who was sent by God to redeem humanity. So they aligned their thought with the devil. The devil have succeeded in manipulating them against God. So they will be saying that. I just pray that they will, they will repent and God will uh, redeem them. You've yes, also, you talk a lot about the kingdom of God, and, and as a student of that and someone who leading a ministry and impacted so many lives, for those who have questions about exactly what is the kingdom of God, describe that, please. <laughs> yeah, the kingdom of God is a dimension of life where there is no evil but love, truth, peace, uh, and with the absolute rules or sovereign rules of God, the creator. The kingdom of God is a, is a place where there is no sickness, no diseases, no pain, no death, no poverty, no struggling, no suffering. It's a place of peace. And it's a place where there is eternal life. That's what kingdom of God is. Just as it was in the beginnings in the Garden of Eden, that's the kingdom of God we are talking about. Our guest on This Week in America is Pastor Joseph Aladetan, and that's A-L-A-D-E-T-A-N. The book is Over the Storms of Life, God's Word and Covenant Promises Prevails. I mentioned in several places here in the States you can buy the book. This, uh, this program will air worldwide. Where do you suggest people buy the book? Yeah, I suggest people should buy this book, number one. It, it, it's, it contains vital information, uh, that will help you to draw near to God, and that's number one, and to deal with every challenges. You do not have to agree with the devil. There are certain occurrences in life that you must reject faithfully. Now, for instance, if you are sick, the declarations of the word of your mouth is very important. If you agree with the devil concerning every challenge in your life, so be it. But if you agree with God, you, you, you easily and uh, conveniently overcomes your challenges. So you've got to learn how not to agree with the devil, but to agree with God who created you perfectly without all of these challenges. And this book can be purchased in Amazon.com, AutoRepetitionsPress.com, AutoHouse.com, JosephAladitonBook.com, 
ebay.com sounds all and and um, bookstores worldwide and you can go to our website this week in america.us and you'll find the links to all of those sites the pastor just mentioned a couple minutes left in the program give me some of your thoughts remarks on on jesus christ and i know how important that is as the foundation talk a little bit about why jesus christ was the the redeemer that was ordained to rescue man shortly after we disobey God and fell short of his glory. Before God uh, uh, expelled humanity out of the Garden of Eden, God made a categorical pronouncement while placing judgment on, on the serpent who deceived man to disobey God. That the offsprings of the woman, that is the virgin woman who the devil deceived uh, to eat the forbidden fruit, the woman will give birth to a son. And Jesus Christ is the woman, is the, is, the, is the offspring of the woman. And he's the redeemer of the world. He is the one with the mandate from God to redeem the world and to reestablish the kingdom of God on earth. The Bible said in the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 15, that the kingdom of this world, I'm talking about the entire kingdom of this world, has become the kingdoms of God and his Christ. And Christ, Jesus, you know, the, the word Christ is not a name, it's a title. Title, and it means Messiah or the Redeemer or the Savior. Only Jesus Christ carried that title among every messengers of God that has ever come. All the prophets of God that has ever come did not carry that title. Only Jesus, and he's the only one that was sent to redeem the world. A couple minutes left here, a fascinating conversation with our guest, Pastor Joseph Aladitan, our guest on the program. The title of the book is Over the Storms of Life. And I'm thinking we're all bound to face storms, aren't we? You've got storms of life. And the two basically go together, don't they? We will all face some type of storms in our life. Yeah, uh, this book was written to address all manners of trauma in our life, not in the not uh, individual storms, community storms, national storm, political storms, yes. everything that does not give peace to humanity, there are storms. And this book was written. And of course, I also dedicated chapter seven of these books to talk, to write about the signs of the end time, the prophecy of the end times, what is coming to happen to this world uh, and how Jesus Christ will come back to establish the kingdom of God. Everything we are clearly stated in, in, the, in this book. So it is very important because this book is very inspiring and very educative. So I join everyone all over the world to buy this book. And it is receiving international rave reviews. The book is Over the Storms of Life, God's Word and Covenant Promises Prevails by our guest on the program, Pastor Joseph Alatatan, and that's A L A. And the book has just won gold award. Oh, I didn't know that. Congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. That doesn't surprise uh, me at all. It just, uh, it, it's yeah, it has just won a gold seal award. It is as well one deserved. Of the book, literary books that matters. Well, and this is a book that matters. This can be a life altering book and get you through some difficult times. The book is available at Author Reputation Press at Pastor Joseph's website. That's josephalatatanbook.com, A L A D E T A N. Go to our website this week in America.us and you'll be able to, uh, to log on and get all of the information. Also, information on the pastor's other book, Christian Marriage and Family Life. Pastor Joseph, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Excellent job. Congratulations again on the uh, on the award with the book. Well deserved. Thank you for spending some time thank with us on the program. Thank you for having me. I thank you very much, Eric. It's a pleasure to be with you. It is a pleasure to have you on the program. And once again, the book is Over the Storms of Life, God's Word and Covenant Promises Prevails. You'll find information on our website this week in America.us. And we're back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC.
For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.